Hi, this is Ethan Reeves, the developer of Genie and founder of Ifrit Technologies. And in this video, we're going to be looking at collections. That's the collections part of folders and collections. In a previous video, we looked at overall how to organize folders and collections together. In this video, we're going to be digging into collections themselves, seeing what they are, how we can use them, and why they're so useful. Okay, first off, what is a collection? As a generalized concept, a collection is basically a bucket that holds research. It's synchronized, which means it synchronizes between all of your team members so they can all have it. It's available offline, and collections are in general organized into folders to keep them all in their place. So that's what a collection is. So what can go inside of a collection? Collections can hold a lot of things. Collections can hold articles, they can hold query filed content, they can hold cards, and they can hold bills. So let's dig into collections themselves. All right, folders and collections are managed from the folders and collections section. And one of the key things to learn first is that there are three different types of collections. All of them are collections, they just have slightly different features for the slightly different speech and debate events. So the first type of collection is an extemp collection. And all of these you can just create right here from that plus menu. An extemp collection holds just articles and auto research. Let's look at one. Right here, we have a simple extemp collection. It only has one article in it for now, and we query filed some content into it. We'll look at query filing and how cool that is in a different video. Okay, so that's a simple extemporaneous collection. Now, let's look at a debate collection. A debate collection can have everything that an extemp collection can hold in addition to having evidence cards. Those are great for cutting specific quotes and paragraphs that you want to use in round. You can think of a debate collection as essentially a debate brief, like you might see in team policy or public forum debate. Added articles, query file, just like in extemporaneous, but now we also have cards. We can see here I cut some demonstration cards about China. We have another video on cards specifically. All right, third and final type of collection. It's just like a debate collection, except that in addition to that, it has a bill. This is a Congress collection. So a Congress collection has a bill's text, articles, auto-researched articles, and evidence cards. You can add all of those in there. Let's look at a Congress collection. In this case, we've actually imported the entire NSDA 2019 high school nationals docket, which we detail how to do in another video, but we can see that we have all of these bills under here. Let's look at this bill. Okay, so the first thing we see here is that we have the text of the bill. This is extremely useful for debating it in round. Then we have added articles. This is where you would save specific articles that you wanted to use in regards to this bill. We have query filed content. There's none in here yet. We haven't query filed anything. And then we have cards. All of those are empty right now, but you can see how you can organize all of the research you need about a specific bill, about a specific debate brief, debate case, debate resolution, about a specific extemp topic into a collection. All right, so that's an overview of the different types of collections and what they can hold. Now let's look at how to get that content actually into the collections. Now probably by far the most common thing you're going to want to do is add articles to a collection. Okay, so how do you add articles? There's two main ways you can add an article to a collection. The first is from the article list. Now article lists show up all across Genie. They show up anytime you have a big list of articles. One of the examples is in the search section. So let's look for tariffs China. Hit enter. Looks like I misspelled that so we didn't get any results. All right, so we actually got over 5,000 results, so we need to narrow this search down a little bit. So let's say that we're only looking for things from think tanks. And how to do all of these search settings is detailed in another video about searching. Hit apply. All right, so here's 500 articles about tariffs and China from think tanks. If we wanted to, for instance, add this article into the collection that we've been building, the debate collection about tariffs on China, just click this little button right here which says add to collection. Next, we're going to select that collection, click Add. Let's come back over to that collection. 
click Added Articles, and we can see that there's the article added in. Now the whole point of that is that now rather than having to search for it, rather than having to go figure out which articles are good for this specific topic, you and your team members can curate a specific list of them. You can highlight those, mark them up, cut cards from them, and that'll all be centralized and organized so that you can find it quickly and use it. Okay, so let's get another article open here so that we can add it in as well. Just open a couple things here. Uh, let's look at this article from the Cato Institute. Let's say that we want to add this into the collection. Click here, click the collection itself, click add, and there we had it. It added that article in as well. All right, so the same exact process is the same for an extent collection as it is for a Congress collection or any type of collection. So that's how you can add articles into a collection. We're going to be detailing query filing and cutting cards in two separate videos. So that's basically all you need to know about collections. In a lot of ways, there are two main cores to Genie. One is autofiling, and one is everything that revolves around collections. Autofiling pulls in bulk content, and collections let you curate the perfect pieces of research.